Your English is so good. Was it supposed to be bad? Well, fine then. Fuck you. See if I ever give you a compliment again. Fucking asshole. Yeah, because Asian people are special and you should watch what you say around them. As a matter of fact, unless they're a white person, the only thing you get to say is sorry. Are you really Asian, though? Because you don't look Asian. Is Filipino actually Asian? As you can see, the Philippines is very much part of Asia. How dare you be so uneducated about Asia? And what's wrong with you? Don't you obsess about ethnicity? How can you not know just by looking at her that she is Asian from the Philippines? Pfft, fucking asshole. And there's no such thing as looking Asian. That's right. There are no characteristics that are common among Asian people. It's all in your head. What? You better check your internalized racism. Where do you live? Flushing or Chinatown? Why do I only have two options? Actually, I live on Roswell Island. And if I wasn't privy to this information prior to having asked the question, it would be a perfectly good guess to presume these two locations since they're so heavily populated with Asian people. Stop being so damn sensitive. Seriously, people are just not going to want to talk to you anymore. You must be so glad you're here in the U.S. now. What's wrong with Pakistan? I love living in Pakistan. I just happen to be living here now. Oh, I'm just Islamophobic. See, I have a fear of brown people that run around screaming... Allahu Akbar! Because shit tends to blow up around them. For those of you who don't know, about 97% of Pakistanis are Muslims. And for the Muslims out there, I feel confident in saying that most people view your religion as psychotic. And again, I believe that for most people, the prospect of living in such a place is a bit terrifying. So are you this kind of Indian? Or this kind of Indian? <sighs> I'm going to walk away now. Well, that's just rude. Ugh, seriously, you guys, you cannot expect every person you run into to have intimate knowledge about your ethnicity. If you get too triggered by conversations of ethnicity, perhaps you could do the respectable thing and tell the person that that's not something you wish to answer or talk about. You look just like this other Indian girl I know. Are you guys related? No, not all one million Indian Americans are related. Another thing, a lot of these questions are missing context. For instance, let's say I live in a small town, and there happens to only be two Indonesian people there. I just met one of these Indonesian people yesterday, but I happen to run into you today. Would it be such a stretch of the imagination for me to assume that you might be related? No, no but like, where are you really from? New York. Because like, that's really where I was born and raised. Okay, smartass, you know exactly what they're trying to ask. Would it be better if they presented the question, From which ethnicity does your lineage hail? How the hell do you guys manage to complicate everything? So next time you want to make a comment based on someone's ethnicity, check your internalized racism. Fuck you! I have no internalized racism! Is it possible it's coming from an unconscious bias of what Asians should look like, sound like, or act like? That's right kids, if it looks like a duck, acts like a duck, and quacks like a duck, it's probably a motherfucking chicken, because you have internalized racism. If you're not sure about something, ask questions. Just don't ask ones based on assumptions or preconceived notions. Speak like I'm a moron and have to rely on your superiority of knowledge. How about, fuck you? I'll ask my questions how I want to ask them. Smug looking asshole. You might be surprised by what you learn. And if these assholes would stop assuming that every question towards them is racist, they might learn something too. But I kind of doubt that's going to happen. Anyway, that's the end of the video. It's one of those Asian History Month deals. I just happened to run across the video and figured I'd take a stab at it. So I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, everyone. Keep up the fight against stupidity wherever you may find it. Have a great day.